All right, welcome to Soul Flow TV again, everybody. It's your host of the most. You know, if this story, <laughs> I should start this video up by saying, "I wear the bonga donga jonga." But <laughs> if this story had come out of Jamaica, I would definitely have done a video on it. So I cannot be a hypocrite. I have to do a video on this because this, but this one happened in the great United States of America. Check this out now. Not in my great Jamaica, but in the great United States of America. This story right here, a subscriber said today, so Flo, you need to do a story on this one. Talk about this case. I guess I had to. And the funny thing is, it happened around the area where I live and I didn't even know about it. And I'm willing to bet that this person that told me about it lives far away from here, but knows about it as well. It's just like how things happen in Jamaica and me know about it. But things happen right here in Florida and I don't know about it because it's not publicized. So when I do stories, people say, well, how come you're doing story about what's happening in Jamaica and this happened in your area today? Bridge fall down, 50 people dead, man shoot up school. And I'm like, what? Where? How come I didn't hear about this? You know what I'm saying? So anyways, listen to this story, people. Awe de bongo dongo jungo. Yo, I, I have to inject some kind of humor because these people are crazy. And I'm going to tell you, this is not the first time I've heard of this happening. Alright? So, Guetti Belazare of Melbourne, Florida was caught. Alright, so let's put a face to the name. This is Guetti Belazare of Melbourne, Florida. This woman is a registered nurse working in a long-term care facility. Alright? Follow this story closely. You're going to be very shocked, just like I was. Huh. But naked in an elderly man's hospital room, doing unspeakable things to him. Zero, who is 40 years old, has been arrested for lewd and lascivious molestation of an elderly person and abuse of an elderly person among after an arrest warrant was issued on Monday. She was picked up and taken to the Brevard County Jail. Now the details of how this all happened is just crazy as hell. And they have all the details. Check it. According to Melbourne Police, Sergeant John Chapman, officers responded to the Brookshire, and I know exactly where this facility is. Literally people, I can either get on a bicycle and ride over there in about 15, 20 minutes, or I can jog over there because it borderlines my part my county not county but my uh town now i actually went to this facility uh was it summer summer of last year to imply to inquire if they were looking to hire do any hiring in the occupational field occupational therapy field because i was looking to do some work around home if y'all don't know it i travel for work so I go way all the way out to Texas on contracts. And people are saying, why the hell you go all the way out to Texas? You can't find a job in Florida in your field? I can, but it's mostly like what's called PRN or part-time or as needed. Part-time money can feed my family or finance, my savings and these kind of things. So I need full-time employment and full-time money. And the full-time money is so good when I travel that I am able to travel beat that down for four six months or do two 13 week contracts back to back and then take the rest of the year off right so according to melbourne police sergeant john chapman officers responded to the brookshire assisted living facility at black blank blank bulldog boulevard on december of 2018 is when they first heard about this or the police was called in to say, please come here come get this woman we found her doing things that she needs to be arrested for so upon arrival the melbourne police department officer made contact with the managerial staff who explained that a female employee named goetti belazare which i found out she is haitian a goetti belazare was found naked in a patient's bedroom this is a nurse mind you so you went to nursing school, you had the smarts enough to pass all those doggone tests and exams and state board light of licensing and all this stuff. And then you dash it all away by jumping upon some old man. And check it out, 
it's the condition of the old man that makes me like wow really though and yes she embarrassed the hell out of us because people are thinking are some white people something this no it was a sister all right so the elderly victim who suffered from numerous medical ailments to include Alzheimer's and dementia remember I told you all about Alzheimer's and dementia and people keep saying all oh, the scammer them always are uh, scam them people yeah. them eat that people yeah. them greedy and money them a look um, good for them them forget scam Cause how the hell you go pick up your phone and somebody I tell you about you just win a million bucks and you believe them if you are not aware of how Alzheimer's and dementia affects a human being then you need to get educated on it for two reasons for one you might be experiencing it sometime in your lifetime if you're around long enough or for two you might witness your parents or relatives as they age start to experience Alzheimer's and dementia and you with knowledge and education will be better equipped to help them out so they don't become anybody else's victim we teach when we do them video here okay all right so we're not only gonna talk about the crazy story the bongo donga jungle story we're gonna also teach and we're gonna implore you to please go and look it up like i always say on soul flow tv the same way you can look up porn when you feel that way they don't want to do that run after thing that is the same, <laughs> it's the same way you could use your internet to look up these things that we're telling you to go look up look up alzheimer's and dementia and how it affects the human mind and you you will be set all right then look up signs and symptoms of and so on and so forth so all right the elderly victim suffered from numerous medical ailments to include Alzheimer's and dementia advised police that he had been battered sexually <coughs> all right battered in that manner him said officer she, I'll tell you the details hold on Melbourne police detectives were then notified of the incident and responded to Brookshire assisted living facility the investigation revealed that Belazare was missing for over an hour and a half in the facility they could not find her for over an hour and a half now this is a big dummy right here because I work every time I take a contract people and you hear me say 13 weeks and we do an account down you know that's when I'm on the morning thoughts because I have to get up and have to make it to this facility every morning Monday to Friday right and it's a 9 to 5 or a 8 to 7 or a 6 to whatever hours I do I work in one of these long-term living assisted um, facilities right and within these facilities a lot of them they have a, a occupational ther a therapy department that covers occupational therapy physical therapy speech therapy so all the therapists from different fields work in that and we have our like our own wing of the hospital our own therapy room and offices and whatnot and this is what I do so I am very well aware of how these facilities are set up they're basically set up to where may I give you an understanding you know they're basically set up to where it's like a private hotel kind of thing some of the residents there who don't have as much money as others they get roomed with somebody else but when they get roomed with somebody else there's always a partition in the room where nurses their care team the nurse the aides right the CNAs the aides the nurses the, the therapists anybody can go in there and work with them in their living area because they're elderly they're fragile a lot of them are really elderly and they might not or they're transitioning just had a broken hip from a fall or whatever so they're transitioning through the facility to get back home in a healthy or they're coming in for end-of-life care then and end-of-life care for them can mean the next 10 years they're in this facility until they die you know because they have some critical illness that's gonna last that long until death so they're in these facilities in their own space some of them have their own room because throughout their, their life they probably paid more into Medicare or not Medicare but yeah Medicare they probably paid more into Medicare and or they probably have a large amount of assets and savings and stuff like that so you will find them having their own room their own suite it's like a hotel room I'm talking shower um, rolling walk-in shower complete bathroom um, separated from their little dining living space and then their bed area with big TV panel wall and everything 
Like, it's really set up like that. I don't know if this nurse thought it was like a hotel stay and she had to jump from bed to bed. And you are accounted for in these facilities. You have to, so you have to, they have to know where you're at. You can't just disappear in a people room and be in there and door shut and you and that she, no, it doesn't work. So she was stupid to be in there for all, missing inside the facility for over an hour and a half, which was crazy. The investigation revealed that Belizeri was missing for over an hour and a half in the facility they couldn't find her. And due to that absence, personnel at the facility, at the assisted living facility, went looking for her. Have y'all seen Nurse Belizeri? Have y'all seen her? She's on the clock. Did she clock out and go home? No, go check. They checked. She was still on the clock. She's supposed to be in the facility. I'm sure they were thinking she'll probably sneak out and go and get some food or do something. You have unscrupulous people that work in this field that do these things as well. They are clocking for work and then they'll sneak out the back door and take an extended lunch break. All two hours them gone. And then they come back still on the clock, right? And these people eventually get caught and fired and you can go to prison for this because it is fraud against the government. Medicaid fraud it's called. So Belazir was eventually located in the victim's room, in the victim's bedroom as she was beginning to put her clothes back on. When the staff questioned the victim, not the nurse, they saw the nurse putting her clothes back on and they were like, what the, what are you doing? Right? She went into the bathroom part of the patient's place finished dress herself. They questioned the victim. When the staff questioned the victim as to what had happened, he stated that Belazir had unwanted contacts with him and he had been trying to get her to stop off for all that time. The incident was reported to management who then notified the police department. An interview was attempted with Belazir who denied ever being in the room with the patient. Now she's a big dummy again. Oh boy, makeup does wonders for some of these women. Good God. Look at her eyebrows. One up, one down. She, she could have said, and I'm not telling people how to lie, she could have said, you know I was in there, but I'm doing my job as a nurse, right? I'm checking vitals and uh, distributing medication, so on and so forth. No, I never went into that room. Well, people saw you in there. So these other people that were looking for you that walked in and saw you putting your clothes on and said, what are you doing? Were they not talking to you or was it somebody else that looked like you that work at the same facility? Right? So right away, she was in problems. The victim was immediately transported to Holmes Regional Medical Center. I'm going to tell you how close to where I live this is. This is where uh, Kosi was born. My son Kosi was born at this same facility. So the victim was transported to Holmes Regional Medical Center where a sexual assault kit was completed. The bottom line, according to Sergeant Chapman, is that DNA evidence from that assault kit returned to the police department from Florida Department of Law Enforcement on March 25th of this year. So. Just like they said, it doesn't take 24 hours. It's not a turnaround thing. It takes some time. So they sent that kit in December 28th of 2018. They didn't get it back until March 25th of 2019. And again, it turns out that the results came back exactly as said. Her DNA was all over the man, floppy front. All right? Again, what the hell was that all about? Why would a nurse do some crazy ish like that to a. Again, here are two pictures of her. That's one on the left is her normal picture, and the one on the right is her at the bookings after being arrested. Elderly person. Well, we can't wait to find out. Maybe somebody out there actually knows. Detectives are urging anyone who has information regarding this incident to contact Detective Callahan at 321-608-6453 or make an anonymous report by calling Crimeline at 1-800-423-TIPS. 
Now, what they're suspecting is that she actually did this to more than one patient that particular day, and that is the reason why she was missing for so long. So, I don't know if it's a nympha with a, a urge, or, but I don't see this elderly man being able with all these ailments, but I guess they get off on, I mean, I always tell guys this, if two women can get each other off through friction, don't think that you need no big long something and deep penetration for make her, because you have women out there that don't get penetrated and they, so I don't know what she was doing, the details is that she stripped herself naked, she got on top of the man and she was whining, whining, grinding, grinding, and then, and then I try to fight her off and she holding him down. And she mulled and tried all kind of something to make it get up on it now and get up. And she moved on to another patient. And she did the same thing and it was in the second patient's room where she got caught. And this woman literally spent an hour and 30 minutes out of her 8 hour work shift day to do, to do this. Tell me if this isn't madness and crazy. Hmm? Tell me if this isn't madness and crazy. Now I know people are going to say, oh... You never heard the other story about the man that impregnated the woman that was in a coma and she actually gave birth to a baby. They tested the baby's DNA and uh, subpoenaed him through court papers for his DNA sample and matched it. And that's how they knew that he was the father. And this is a man that have wife and small kids at home. So this ain't new. Now the story to this is when I was growing up, a family member of mine, I'm not going to put out there which one, had a friend that did the same exact thing. She was a living nurse, right? And she was taking care of an elderly man that was in his 90s. And, you know, sometimes them white people are not aged too well. So, for them 90 look like 150, right? So, and that's exactly how he looked because I, I seen him. We used to go visit her on the weekends and she had two boys that I was growing up with and we were good friends with her sons, right? So, huh, the, 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 eventually she, she came up pregnant. And I remember my family member saying to me, well, you know, so so and so pregnant, right? I didn't know so she's pregnant for the old man that she's taking care of, right? People, this time I was about 10 years old. No lie. And I said, pregnant for this. I'm 10. I'm trying to figure that out. How's she pregnant for the old man that she's taking care of? That guy's really old. Like, he could be my grandfather's father. All right. Boom. Our belly start to grow up. Big and big and big. This woman carried the baby full term. I have the baby. And it was so odd for us to see her with that little mixed race baby. And you know what the intention was? He was a multi-millionaire. And literally when she used to go take care of him or when she lived in where she lived to take care of him, you're talking about poshness. You're talking about code to get in the gate of his estate kind of thing. Not gated neighborhood, his estate kind of thing. And I guess this lady really, and I want Jamaica and Uman too, and I guess she really got it in her head and she must have been in her 40s around that time, now that I think about it. And she got it, I guess she got it in her head that she was going to breed for the man, the old man, have baby for him, and then the child would be heir to whatever this man have left. Regardless if they like it or not, it's his. I don't know how that story eventually turned out, but I know for a fact that she had that baby. Leave your comment in the comment section below and tell me what you think about this one. I'm flabbergasted. I am just flabbergasted. Don't do it. How are they bongo, dongo, jungle? Hey, <laughs> I'm out, man. Peace.